What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I'm going to show you the importance of breaking down boxes so that you can defeat zombies, hordes of zombies later on in game. No, that's just silly. I'm just making a joke. This is Night of the Dead and you may have seen it on my channel in a live stream previous to this video however i've been getting into this game more and more and i'm really enjoying it so i think i'm gonna start doing some guide videos on night of the dead i'm having an absolute ton of fun with it right now and i want to continue playing it so i thought why not bring you guys some videos of night of the dead but before I start getting into guides and different things showing you how to achieve greatness over the zombies that you'll face in Night of the Dead, I thought I would just introduce you to the game. So this game launched August 28th, 2020 and is being developed by Jack2 Studios. Now this game is in early access, but I can tell you with the foundation that they have already, it doesn't entirely feel like this is an early access game, which is saying a lot for the developers. And it has most of the mechanics that we've come to expect in survival games now. So it has a eating system, not really a drinking system, but an eating system. It has a stamina system in place and it has a building system in place as well. One of the interesting things about the stamina system with Night of the Dead is you're actually allowed to reach an exhausted state and then use your actual health bar to continue to run. So you reach the exhausted state and then if you need to continue going to evade imminent death, then you can push yourself further at the cost of some of your health bar. One of the biggest prerequisites nowadays for survival games is that there's a building aspect to it and Night of the Dead has that building aspect. I do feel like it needs some tweaks and it needs a bit of care and attention so that there's more possibilities on how you're able to build and the way you're able to build, but they have a really solid foundation, get it, foundation for their building system. Now, if you're like me, then at some point in game, you're gonna die. And it's got the same kind of mechanics as any other survival game would, where you drop your equipment and you'll need to run back and recover that. And I'm just gonna show you that on screen now so you can see the information about my inventory being lost coming up on the screen. And then as I'm running back to my body, there you go there's your loot and you'll want to go back and pick your loot up. Now there are some other punishment mechanics for dying in game, but I'm not going to get into those in this video. I'll cover those in future videos. Now the current game loop in Night of the Dead is to get enough resources and build enough, build yourself up enough during the day that you can survive the night. At night, zombies come for you and what i've noticed is they don't necessarily come for your base unless they can't get to you they really come directly for you and if you build things properly if you use the traps properly which is what this game is intended to be built around then you can have a lot of fun demolishing zombies with your traps now, depending on how you build, the first night is pretty easy to get through. But as you can see, I'm on day three. This is the third night that I've spent in the game. And it gets pretty wild. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video here. But without the traps, without setting up a base and some sort of trap system, you would not be able to survive the night. Now, Night of the Dead has three different game modes. Single player, online co-op, and then online PvP. And they just launched some servers where you can get on or you can host your own dedicated server and play against your buddies or just open it up to the public. So they really are expanding on what they're doing. Now, I have only had the pleasure of playing online co-op and single player so far. I have not gotten into the PvP aspect of this game, but I could see how it could be fun. Now, I think if you're into survival games or you're into zombie games or zombie survival games, this is definitely one that I would recommend picking up. 
And I am showing you the part where there's there's a lot of zombies, guys, and it is going to be difficult to kill all these zombies. And that is where the traps come in. So you really have to think about how can I methodically build traps to pull the zombies through and to kill as many zombies as possible without having to have a clear interaction with each and every one of them. But I definitely recommend this game if you're into the survival gameplay genre or the zombie genre. This one is just a lot of fun. And personally, my goal is to figure out how to set up traps in the best way that I don't have to kill zombies. So how can I build in a way that is going to allow me to have the edge over all the zombies and not have to waste ammo or waste resources that uh, would not benefit me killing massive amounts of zombies in one single swipe. And you can see with the trap that I currently have set up, and this is early on in game, it's doing the job. It is taking care of most of these zombies. I'm just shooting them every once in a while with a bow just to slow them down. Now, if you're interested in more Night of the Dead videos, gameplay, guides, all sorts of things, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and whack that like button. And that's all I have for this video, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. You can pick one of the other videos coming up on the screen to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.